Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is for you. Um, first off, we're going to just start by taking some um, cards. Um, I feel like that we need, where are, let me find my deck. We need to get a couple of these to be, to starting off. And I have got a little bit of smoke going on there. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, slide of hand throw out more. Um, I wanted two. They give me two. Okay, let's see what we got here. We've got message in a bottle number 15. Um, I feel like with that <laughs> being um, 15, you know, made up of three fives, I feel like expect the unexpected uh, with this message. It's, it's a feeling like um, something you've long awaited for Yet you may have not have even um, thought of who this is or anything of that nature um, that's going to give you this message. But I, I feel like it's it is an expect the unexpected. Get ready, you know something about to. And I, I don't really want to say. Um, well, I guess it is change of a sort, and it can be a major change. We have here number twenty four, which is time for a nap. So I feel like it's um, a time of you really taking some time for yourself. But not only that, it feels like it's a time of um, inward searching. And, um, you know, through rest, through sleep, you know, meditation. See, it's making me yawn. Because it's a feeling like that through all of that is when a lot of messages will come to you. And you may dream or you may wake up and then all of a sudden you're renewed. You've got new new uh, ideas, new messages come through you while you nap, while you rest. Um, it's that type of feeling. It's like rejuvenating your, your mind and your know-how and your drive. Do you see the little fox asleep on the moon. I want to take you one of these. Um, these are actually yep, Saint Prayer cards. For Aquarius. Nope. I don't want to. Only one. For Aquarius. May I have the one card? already is okay we got it we got it okay let's see I'll show you the card first and then I'll read it to you Saint um, Expeditious patron of emergencies, quick solutions against procrastination and mer merchants. Okay, let's see what it says on the back. Okay, our dear martyr and protector, Saint Expedite. You who know what is necessary and what is urgently needed. I beg you to intercede before the Holy Trinity that by your grace my request be granted. Clearly express what you want and ask Him to find a way to get it to you. So clearly express what you want to Saint Expedite and you know um, may I receive your blessings and favors 
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So. That is for, you know, whomever needed to hear that message. I feel like it's many. Unraveling Codependency Only I have to feel good about my choices. safe to look within. As I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. Name all the things you love. Are you one of them? Today's mantra. I give myself all the love and attention I need. Something you may want to ask yourself. You know, do you truly love yourself? Um, I had a question on, um, through the comments about a t tarot deck. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, answer that. I think I've answered it before. Um, my first tarot deck, I was drawn to, I was led to, um, I had some readings that would pop up, you know, just out of the blue, you know, and um, it was the Rider Waite tarot deck, and that was my, this is my first, very first deck. Um, I was drawn to it, and I did order it, um, I can't remember from where, but you can order your cards online, um, on the internet. Um, and it came with a book. Now, you know, uh, I'm not, yeah, me and the books. I, you know, I will read to you from, like, say, this book, you know. But as far as um, most books, I've just not really, I've not been drawn to them. So, yeah, um, I just read by what I feel and what I get. Um but I had that question, and, you know, this was my first deck. You need to really, um, for the person who asked the question, um, if you are drawn to a deck, or if you're drawn to someone's reading, you know, and they're using a certain deck, maybe ask in the comments what deck are they using. Um, you know, right or wait can come in many different, you know, this is my first one, and then I have many more after that. You know, this is right or way, a type, you know, it's it's a different, but it's still the same, like, you know, printing, um, different 
backing. And again, you know, Rider weight, um, which I love. Again. So, um, and then, you know, she mentioned about crystals. Um, you know, you can purchase crystals many different places. You can purchase those um, even through Amazon. Or uh, people have websites set up and Etsy and you know you can get your cards at different places like that so you may want to check on Amazon or get online on uh, say Google and you know type in um, Rider Weight um, Tarot Deck or um, you know Crystals so let's get you some tarot Okay, someone finding the strength to move away from something um, or go towards something. It's going to be according, it's, it's different for different people. Um, it, it could be even going towards a, a structure because I'm drawn to what looks like the castle um, in the Ace of Wands. But this is an attempt to start over, wanting a new start, a fresh start. Um, moving quickly towards that new start. Tell me about that. Wanting this victory. Okay, what's this about? Someone leaving something behind. Woo! In search of happiness. Okay, so I feel like uh, that if this isn't you. Okay, wait a minute. For some of you, this is you, and you're leaving something behind in search of your happiness. Um, I feel like that um, you're leaving behind things that no longer, you know, are needed in your life. They no longer help with your spiritual growth or help with your growth going forward. And therefore, you know, you've got um, the Wheel of Fortune here on the bottom that fortune is on your side. Things are looking different for you. Things are going to look up from here. Now, for some of you, okay, they switch it up. For some of you, that that's you know that's one that's one telltale right there. Um, and for those of you that you know things are looking different and you're moving towards a more happy, positive place in your life, plus that's the yes card if you had a yes or no question. This is a feeling like you could be moving a new homes, you could be moving, um, leaving behind old jobs or leaving behind old situations that no longer serve you to move to a better place. Um, it could, you know, it could be so many different things, I'm going to tell you. Um, but it could also just be m moving away from the past within yourself and really focusing on excuse me what is important to you now and um, giving that your all now for some of you this is someone else this is not even you and for some of you it could be you and someone else you see what i'm saying okay show me this person that um wants to come towards aquarius okay whoever this is They want a victory. Look at that. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. They're coming in. Um, whoever this is, I'm going to be honest with you. They have got... Okay, it's like they're looking two directions. Um, if they look back, it's like they're leaving behind a Queen of Wands. This is, you know, it's a feeling like um, unrequited love with someone who won't really look at them someone who looks away um someone that they're not happy with and then here you are coming in as the queen of swords energy um you know and you're looking forward you're looking face forward towards your victory this person you know they want to come towards you but they're at a they're at a crossroads because i am seeing um the two of um swords 
They're at this crossroads of deciding, decision. Which way do they want to go? Do they want to stay where they're at or do they want to come towards you? And I feel like they're making that choice. They're making that decision um, of what they want to do. More about this person. Yeah. They want to move towards you. Um, they have a truth. They have a truth. Some of them, they're standing in their truth. And they're watching you. Others of them, they, they want... They, it's like they've got a truth to tell you. Um, so some of you, that could be someone from your past. But for some of you, this is someone that stands in their truth and they're watching you. Um, for some of you, this is... Um, it feels like a soulmate energy. Um, possibly twin flame. Um, I'm just going to be honest. That's for some of you. And um, they are watching truly watching you could be from a distance twin flame tell me about their tower moment okay they had it there's been a tower moment either with you or um, with someone else I feel like for some of you it was with you and you know there was pain and there was hurt and um, it left uh, it feels like both people possibly in their head thinking. And it's like this person's had to bring a balance to their thoughts, their life. And it's like that's what they're trying to do. Oh. Now, that's for those of you that have known this person. Um, and like I said, this has got a feel of soulmate, twin flame. Uh, possibly. But for those of you that haven't known them, this person dealt with some crap, crap, crap that hurt them. Left them all in their head, having trouble to sleep. Um, they balanced that. Tell me more about this person if this... Okay. If this is soulmate twin flame. Yeah. They've had to bring... They've had to learn to look at themselves in a whole different light because... They felt abandoned. They felt alone. They felt like they didn't matter. Um, so it's really called for them to look at themselves in a whole different, whole different light. Um, okay. Now, I'm going to tell you, that doesn't mean this has to be... Um, it feels like, um, for some of you, just soulmate. It doesn't have to be romantic. Uh, it could be a friend, family member, you know... If you've known them before and they're coming back around. Okay. And they could, you know, communication. Yeah. Now, if it's romantic. Romantic view. This is someone that um, stands in their own power. Someone who may be very um, masculine. Uh, someone who may, may be a boss type. Um, um, this is someone that... Um, okay. There's been some karma karmic lessons and, and you know they've had to learn to carry their own burdens and carry a lot of weight and a lot of stress um this is someone who's had to be very nurturing and caring and really learn to it feels like um be so much now here's the thing here's the thing um there is so many choices if this is romantic that's what i was asking about and this person knows it. They have choices. You have choices. If this is romantic. Manifesting what they want. And I feel like you've been manifesting what you want on the bottom. So, yeah. Possibly wanting to come towards you. It's going to be different for different people. Uh, now, like I said, you know, not everyone wants romance in their life. For some of you, this ain't romance. This is a, a friend or a family member coming back around. Um, if this is friendship or family member, 
Okay. Say judgment reversed. This person has dealt with some crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They've dealt with some crap in personal relationships. And it's really got them to looking at things from a whole different light. So, you know, coming back around, having this reunion just seems like the right thing to do. You know, this person, it, it's almost a feeling like, feeling like they've missed out. Like, it's almost like two people missing out on, on family or friendship. It's that type of feeling. And you could be dealing with any sign here. I'll just be honest. Now, I'm going to be honest. This person, and you know, there's a feeling of they feel like they're stuck. So, they have to free themselves from this makeshift, um, you know, stuckness that they've got themselves into. Um, and it, it's very burdening to them. You know, they had a lack of, right here, with the burdens being reversed but here is the thing they're burdening them on their own self all in their head that's them doing it to themselves and until they change that and i feel like they're going to take control you know start thinking differently about every aspect oh my goodness sorry about that i just can't quit yawning Ever since I started doing this reading, hmm, I don't know. But at this, you know, I feel like they're going to really think about this. So, and I feel like that's for that's for whoever here. You know, we've looked at friendship, we've looked at family member, we've looked at romantic uh, look see. So, you know, it's like you got somebody that wants to come, some somebody watching possible like i said soulmate or twin flame um they are you know it feels like watching for sure and um it doesn't feel bad it feels like um it doesn't have a bad feel to it So, for some of you, you've known them. For some of you, you haven't known them. Um, like I said, you could be dealing with basically any sign. I'm going to just be honest with you. Um, you know, it, it's in the extended, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at um, from a romantic standpoint. Um, I, may, I think I'm going to pull on soulmate standpoint, soulmate twin flame standpoint. And I'll probably pull a little bit more on family or friend standpoint um, as well. I'm just looking at the cards because I'm seeing what's drawing me to it and what's not. Um, just I've caught several that's drawing me to them. Okay, let's see. In the extended, we're going to look at, um, as well as looking at a soulmate standpoint and um, romantic standpoint, family member standpoint, friendship standpoint, I'm going to also look at, um, I feel like I need to look at Virgo. And I also feel like I need to look at... Um, just give me a minute. Let me look. Aries. Um, <laughs> Pisces.
Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, my ears are so loud today, it is hard to even concentrate, they just are non-stop with the doo, it's like they just don't want to stop at all. I think um, I think I'm gonna look at Sagittarius as well. Okay, let me see if that's all I feel like I need to look at. That's it. So in the extended, I'll look at, like I told you, Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a Sag, an Aries, a Leo, a Virgo, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then I'll look at the other, you know, aspects of it romantically. Um, yeah, I'll kind of split that out. Uh, so that, yeah, that's what I've got for you. The link for the extended will be below. And uh, if you like the readings, give them a thumbs up. Um, please do subscribe um, if you don't mind sharing them out. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.